We may be called New Wimbledon Theatre, but our building is not quite as new as our name might suggest. So fondly dubbed the old lady of the Broadway, our house has actually stood on this site for more than 100 years. And in that time we've seen quite a history. This is the story of Wimbledon Theatre so far. December 1910 we open with our first panto, Jack and Jill. March 1911, J.M. Barry's Peter Pan gave local kids a thrill. After war, Sybil Thorndike and Julia Nielsen helped our theatre boom. But in 25, we lost our founder, J.B. Marholland, far too soon. We had big names in the 30s with Ivan Novello and Gracie Fields. But after war returned, we thought austerity would have our fate sealed. In 55, new beginnings as Peter Haddon, our saviour, brings in rep. By 62, he'd done 350 shows and brought thousands up our steps. In 1963, a premiere, Tommy Steele in half a sixpence. What a cue. Then in 64, Ian McKellen previews for his West End debut. In the 70s, variety was big with Marlena Dietrich, Morecambe and Wise. In the 80s, Gloria Gaynor and Cliff Richard tried our stage for size. Into the 90s and finally an angel is returned to our dome. Then in 2004, ATG by Wimbledon and make it their own. In 2008, Prince Charles' 60th birthday party featured Robin Williams in his prime. Then in 2010, Peter Pan became our best-selling show of all time. These are our favourite moments, but we want to hear from you. What are your favourite memories of Wimbledon Theatre? Join the conversation on social media using hashtag OldWimTheatre or email us at oldwimtheatre at theambassadors.com. <laughs>